animals that become very dangerous when they have babies or young. Survival is the name of the game in the animal kingdom, and reproduction plays a key role in it. All animals in the wild strive to reproduce and pass their genes on to the next generation. Some animals take it a step further and play an active role in rearing their young toward maturity and independence. Like with humans, this process may involve feeding the babies, sheltering them from the elements, and defending them from danger. Our video today focuses on animals that display remarkable protectiveness against any perceived threats against their offspring. We will highlight notable behaviors, breeding patterns, and other cool aspects of these fierce animal parents. Let's get started. The Grey Wolf is a feared beast at the best of times, with a reputation that stretches into legend. A keen hunter renowned for its cunning, endurance, and ferocity, the Grey Wolf decimates wild prey and human livestock like no other mammalian predator. In times of great abundance, wolves are even known to hunt for sport rather than for food. Therefore, with such efficiency on offense, their skills are also well suited to defending their most precious possession, their young. In Grey Wolf politics, only the alpha male and female are permitted to breed and produce pups. This is done to ensure that the strongest genes are passed on to the next generation, which helps secure the pack's survival. However, the duty of raising, teaching, and protecting the pups falls on all members of the pack, with no exceptions. New adult members, if accepted, have to fall in line with this policy or risk being expelled from the group or killed. Protective duties include securing territorial borders, looking out for rogue lone wolves, and staying behind with cubs when the pack goes hunting. Of course, if need be, each member must be prepared to fight to the death in defense of the pups. Main threats to wolf pups include other wolves, bears, cougars, and even prey animals like moose or wild boar. However, humans are by far and away the biggest killer of wolves, so you'll probably be in a lot of trouble if you come across a wolf pack with pups to protect. Speaking of moose, Alces Alces, they are among the fiercest protectors you'll ever come across. Without young, moose are generally mild-mannered creatures that prefer to graze and browse in peace. Unless cornered, they will often choose to avoid conflict instead of fight, especially against humans. However, the story is very different come the early spring when calves are typically born. Calves are highly dependent on their mothers, especially in the first year. In fact, less than 30% of moose calves reach their first birthday with predation and brutal winter cold the main killers. This dependency means moose cows must be highly protective to give their young the best chance. Additionally, males do not play a role in rearing young, making the job even harder. Luckily, a mama moose packs up to 1,000 pounds of body weight and some devastating hooves. Their main method of attack is relentlessly stomping with their front legs. They are surprisingly quick and can easily chase down and stomp a man or wolf to death. Moose may be deer by name, but they are unlike most deer by nature, especially when it comes to protectiveness. Their chief predators are wolves, cougars, bears, and humans they encounter in northern North America. The King and Queen of Beasts, Panthera Leo, do not play when it comes to their royal bloodline. The killing pedigree of lions needs no introduction as they utterly dominate the African savanna they call home. Like wolves, they employ a communal strategy to rearing young. However, their breeding strategy differs a little. The male, or males in case of coalitions, mates with all sexually mature females in the pride. To prevent incest, female lionesses that were fathered by dominant males may sneak off to mate with nomadic males or ruling males from neighboring prides. However, it is very rare for male lions to raise their cubs to full maturity. This is because the throne has a high turnover, with most dominant males ousted within three years of taking over a pride. However, during his reign, a male works with the lionesses to keep cubs safe from the endless threats in their kingdom. Almost every animal in Africa hates lions, and many will not hesitate to kill unguarded cubs. Hyenas, jackals, leopards, buffaloes, rhinos, hippos, elephants, cheetahs, and others all understand the bloody concept of catching lions young. Lionesses will fight to the death for their cubs, even against strange males and humans. The same goes for the fathers, who routinely enforce territorial borders and issue long-distance warnings to would-be invaders. Since females do most of the hunting, males usually linger at home to watch over playful cubs that may be oblivious to the ever-present danger. The Hippopotamus Hippopotamus amphibious is in a constant tussle with its neighbor, the Nile crocodile, for the title of Africa's number one people killer. These great beasts fatally maul one person every day, every year. 
The bulls are brutally territorial, while the females are brutally protective of their babies, making the continent's largest water bodies the deadliest on the planet. They do not tolerate threats, ever. However, they seem to have established a long-running truce with the crocodiles, who give them a wide berth in the waters they share. Baby hippos, arguably the cutest and most helpless creatures in all Animalia, can splash about innocently next to the hungry dinosaurs under the watchful eyes of their deadly mothers. While generally mellow compared to bulls, females are extra aggressive when they have calves. Hippos have been known to leave the water and chase down perceived threats for miles. Their main form of defense is a wide maw that houses a devastating set of tusks. These brutal teeth can dice man or lion with little fuss. Apart from humans, adult hippos generally don't have any predators. A determined group of lions can wear one down if it travels too far from the water. However, calves are vulnerable to many of Africa's predators if they are separated from their mothers on land. The killer whale, or orca, Orsinus orca, is a creature that is as lovable as it is brutal. Don't let the fun-loving show orcas at SeaWorld fool you. In the wild, the orca is a different kettle of… whale. Technically, more closely related to dolphins than animals like humpbacks or blue whales, orcas generally prowl the colder waters toward the poles. They hunt fish, seals, penguins, dolphins, sharks, squids, and seabirds. In 2023, orcas were documented hunting and killing the mighty blue whale. This ruler of the ocean boasts remarkable intelligence, teamwork, and a sophisticated communication system that could be akin to language. Science continues to unearth more and more mysteries about this amazing animal. One thing we do know about them is that they are equally fierce at protecting their young. They live in matriarchal groups called pods, with calves growing under the protection of their parents, siblings, and even grandmothers. Young orcas are typically vulnerable to other toothed whales, including rogue orcas and sharks. Therefore, pod members are hypervigilant and stay in constant touch with each other. Their protective strategies may vary, but they usually begin with surrounding the vulnerable calves before turning the tide on the pursuer. If hunted by humans, orcas will dive beyond the reach of harpoons or nets. Unsurprisingly, the largest land animal on the planet is one of the most protective. The African elephant, Loxodonta africana, is a glorious creature that is loved, revered, and feared. These animals are incredibly smart with a legendary memory, and they display complex social dynamics that continue to baffle scientists. They also have incredible senses, particularly smell and hearing. Like orcas, elephants usually live in matriarchal groups. Males generally leave the herd upon reaching adulthood and typically live alone. Females rarely ever leave the herd and grow to mate with dominant males. After mating and conception, females face a gestation period of 22 months. Once the calf is born, it learns to walk within hours but is otherwise completely helpless. For the next few years, it is dependent on its mother's milk and the herd's protection. Again, like killer whales, defensive strategies center around surrounding the babies in the group while the rest of the herd aims to turn the tide. Few animals are foolish enough to attack a baby elephant with an 11,000-pound mother, an equally enormous aunt, and a grandmother. Elephants trample with their feet, strike with their tusks, and even skewer with their trunks. However, a sizable lion can pose a serious threat to a mother and calf that have been separated from a herd. But, for the most part, the main threat to elephants, young and old, is human beings. Baby elephants face a greater risk of losing their mothers and fellow herd members from tusk-hunting poachers.